everyone. I'm going to show you. I have it open here in this way of my slide deck on purpose so that you can see all the slides at the same time. But I wanted to introduce you to, if you haven't been using as an introduction or a fun um, connecting activity with your students, if you've never heard of Scribble Scrabble, it's that game where you have a little bit of scribbles that are there and you turn them into a picture. So I first saw this in this way posted on Twitter from someone named Amanda Sandoval, a history teacher. And um, I didn't think that I could make it myself. I didn't know that it was something I could easily make myself, which I'll show you today. Um, so I took hers, I downloaded it, she had shared it, and I used this exact one. And then my students made, here are two examples of what they turned them into using Pear Deck. So um, I applied the draw feature or the draw option within Pear Deck, um, and I had this slide already made. Then I started to realize I could actually make more of these. So here's an example of what we did right before Halloween. I drew this, or my student teacher, Stephanie Todd, drew this, and then these two little pieces, and students turned them into these. Um, and the idea is that it is a, uh, about five minutes that you can use at the very start of class. It's a time where you can be talking through it, you can connect with students, they can be doing something hands-on, and you can be taking role. It's worked really, really well for me. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own, and then I'll show you a few other introductory ideas. Um, so uh, I wanted to make it myself, and so thanks so much to my student teacher, Stephanie Todd, who put it into it into reality here. I'm going to duplicate this slide, which is what I always do, Command-D on my Mac, or if you're on a, a different PC, it's Control-D. And then... I still have my title here at the top. You are welcome to take this. It is yours to use. And then you can just change the date. You can change the font. You can change the background color, do whatever you want to it and make it yours. And then you'll notice that there are some scribbles here. There are some lines that are already here. I'm going to delete them because I'm, I'm going to make a new pattern here for students to use. So you can use straight lines. You can use scribbles. What I want to show you here is if you want to use a straight line, you put it here. I usually use this scribble one. And so then I'm going to just do a random scribble um, that has no meaning. And then I will click and then I'll go back to here and make sure it's on the same one that I want if I want another scribble. And maybe I'll do a curve. And that is what I will give them. And then students can turn this into anything that their mind can see. And they can draw that as long as you see this drawing option is here. If you want to change the background or you want to change the font, as I mentioned, you can do that as well. So if you want to change the background, you can just come right here to background. Right now it's just set to a color. You can make it a different color for that day so it's easy to discern. Um, and then I'll show you a few other things that are really fun for introductions if you're searching for some. The other one that students have found really popular, and again, thank you to my student teacher, Stephanie Todd, is called This or That. And so you'll notice, oop, this moved here. I'll move it down for this This or That. So This or That really is having students drag an icon. So this is the draggable one in Pear Deck. But I've made a simple T chart that's here. We added, uh, my student teacher had added her Bitmoji. So if you don't have the Bitmoji, um, extension, you can add that. That's a lot of fun. Or you could just put some pictures or nothing at all. But you can have two concepts or two ideas. You can use this for things within your class. Um, we were doing it for something fun at the very beginning. And then they drag their icon over to which they prefer. Um, another topic was um, almost a would you rather. Would you rather live somewhere that's tropical and warm all year round or would you rather live somewhere that has all four seasons? We were doing a project that had to do with travel, so this was a really nice entry opportunity. So these are two fun ways that you can connect with your students at the very start that don't take a lot of time, but give me a little bit of time as a teacher to double check who's here, make sure everybody's able to connect all right, and get everybody logged in. There are also the ones that come with Pear Deck that you can use. So there are these ones that we have altered. So thank you to Rachel Peters for this wonderful idea, the scale idea, um, and putting your Bitmojis instead of their um, person that is already in there. There's another scale that's already in um, 
Pear Deck as well. And then there's this three scale that I found really helpful. I changed what it said on it to be stuff about this class, what's going on in their life and about the work that we're doing. And then I found this one really helpful as well about the how are you feeling in terms of your bucket being full. Students have loved to draw on this one as well. So I hope that that helps you about some fun ways to be utilizing Pear Deck for introductions. And if your specific question was in using Scribble Scrabble, please feel free to make a copy of this entire slide deck and use whatever you find useful and then make copies of any slides that you want um, and alter and change the drawings that are in it. You can use any of the current ones that are here or make them your own. Thanks so much. Bye.